Hey there, my name is Kate Fakel and welcome to Craft Beer Fridays. This marks part two of pumpkin beer reviews for the month of October. And of course, I have some lovely selections for you here today. We have a nice bomber. It is called La Parcella. It is from Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales. They are located in Dexter, Michigan, and this goes at 6% alcohol by volume. Next, once again, I threw in an Oktoberfest from Great Lakes Brewing Company. They are located in Cleveland, Ohio, and this goes at 6.5%. Here in the middle, I have pumpkin Ale from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. They are located in Milton, Delaware, and this goes at 7%. Up next is Pumpkin Head from Shipyard Brewing Company. They are located in Portland, Maine, and this one goes at 4.7% alcohol by volume. And last but not least, this is the Great Pumpkin from Mad Tree Brewing. They are located in Cincinnati, Ohio, and that goes at 7.9% alcohol by volume. So it is beating everybody in the percentage category. Oh, it's kind of windy out here, so excuse my model hair. We're just going all in today. I'm pouring the whole bottle. So let's go ahead and test these out. You get that sour right up front, kind of reminds you of a Sour Patch Kid. Now we're on to the Oktoberfest. It smells like hand soap. Hmm, I don't know about this one. It's very dry. It's still pretty smooth, but it's not very flavorful. Onto the dogfish head, you get a little bit of pumpkin, not much cinnamon, but you really do taste that brown sugar within this beer. Okay, we are on to shipyard now. Whoa, okay, so right up front, this has a very strong, cinnamon slash sugar smell so I feel like I should have made a dessert with this beer last but not least we have mad tree it doesn't really have anything specific to it when I first smelled it it kind of reminded me of a pumpkin stem so it's very very basic uh. <sighs> All right, now it's time for the fun part to decide which one is first and which one is last. I think I'm gonna have to put Shipyard last solely on the fact that the smell is just so overwhelming. I think I'm gonna have to put Great Lakes in fourth place just because it tastes a little bit too domestic to me. I know it is an Oktoberfest and it's hard to compare them to the rest of these pumpkin beers, but honestly, Madri is kind of similar in taste to this one the winner of this part two of October pumpkin beers is Dogfish Heads Pumpkin Ale. You know, it's just a really smooth kind of beer. And this one is just the sour hits you and that's kind of all you taste. These two right here are similar in flavors and they're just not enough to say, oh yeah, this is definitely a pumpkin beer. And this one is just really sugary. The smell is overwhelming. Now that I've picked the winner, it is about time to go make that pumpkin ale mac and cheese with Dogfish Head's pumpkin ale. I do not cook. I mean, I cook some things, but this is way out of my element on what I usually do. I guess I like, oh, okay. Ew! It's like poopy. It pooped on me. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Never really enjoyed cooking growing up and then when I moved out I kind of had to learn and thought I would branch out and try new things. So if this is horrible, it's probably either because I'm bad or it's because I don't like mushrooms. So we'll see. When people say that they cry when they cut onions, it's true. Ooh! Oh, it burned. <sighs> My eyes are watering. Half cup of beer in this recipe, and it's pumpkin. Look at all these ingredients. It's so yummy. Like what? Is that supposed to go in the cheese? Oh. That's interesting. I feel like there's a technique to this that I'm not understanding. So I just manhandling some cheese. I am still in the process of getting everything prepared. Where are you going? <laughs> it was a spider. Oh. It's generally not a good thing if you're saying you at all of your ingredients. <laughs> I know. Okay, we are sauteing it up. Pasta is done and ready to sit. Still got a couple more things to add. And then we're gonna pour in the beer. Here we go, pumpkin beer. Whee! All right, so I've officially put it in the oven 
It asked for a lot of breadcrumbs, so it, woo, steamy. It'll be very crunchy. Thanks, Rumi, for helping out. <laughs> Here is the final product. It is out of the oven. Okay guys, it's the moment of truth. It is done. Here we go. Okay, actually that's really good. <laughs> I am not a big fan of mushrooms, but holy wow. Let me try it with the beer I made it with. Ah, uh, helps it go down so smoothly. It took me over two hours just to prepare and get everything and bake before I even put it in the oven. I probably won't ever do this again. <laughs> I know this is super random, but I'm a really big Miranda Sings fan and she actually has a Netflix series coming out today and I'm really excited to watch it. So if you don't know who Miranda Sings is, you should definitely look her up on YouTube because I think she's hilarious. I also posted on all my social media that I want you guys to send me some pumpkin selfies. I mean, always send me beer selfies, obviously. I will post the link to this recipe in the description box below. If you guys have any other cool recipes that you wanna send me that you make beer with, please feel free and if you try this recipe let me know how it turned out for you because I'm pretty impressed. I post a new video every Friday so you definitely want to stay tuned for all the awesome October pumpkin beers. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and remember life is too short to drink bad beer.